What's up guys, it's MAI here and today we are taking a look at Ho-Oh and Lugia. So this actually rounds up our uh, energy type decks. So all the videos we've released so far have covered every single energy type. Ho-Oh is the, the final one that covers colorless type. And it's a, it's a pretty cool deck. Uh, it's fun because uh, you're slowly increasing your damage output over time and you can you can like exceed a threshold and do even higher damage even higher damage output there's really no limit to this outside of the energy cards you play but let's take a look at what he does so ho is a 90 hp basic which is really good two retreat costs is pretty high weakness to water on a color that seems a little weird but we do have resist to fighting however the attack is pretty cool this attack does 30 damage plus 10 more damage for each energy type of uh basic energy card if any ho is attached to so um, your base damage is 30. If you have a, a different energy types for each of these costs, then your damage output when you can attack is 70, which is a really high damage output, right? I mean, 70 is like 40 and 50 is what you normally see in most decks. And so getting to 70 on a basic is pretty crazy. So it's cool. But then the thing is, it can keep going beyond that. If you can attach, if he survives long enough, you can attach even more energy over and over and it can get up to 80, 90, 100 and even more. So it's a really good attack if you can, if you can get it set up. Now, obviously a four energy cost and we don't run any way of accelerating energy, unfortunately, because there aren't any really good options. So it's going to take a while for him to set up, and when he goes down, setting up another one is going to be very difficult. So our strategy with this build is going to be to try to keep one hole in play for as long as possible. And uh, let's get into the other parts of the deck to see how that's going to work. So we're, let's, just go, let's just go from uh, top to bottom here. Four Clefas is going to be your way of setting up. Uh, Clefa is the definitive card of Gen 2, allows you to set up your board, allows you to be immune to hand disruption, etc., etc four count to keep it consistent. We have a single Elo Kid 2. Because Ho-Oh takes so long to power up, we're going to need to do passive damage, and Elo Kid is our option for that. So Elo Kid can hit the opponent on a coin flip from the bench because of his ability. So it's a passive damage option in case you're not attacking at any given turn. Elo Kid's really nice to have. He was one of the most useful cards in my matches, and so I'm, I'm actually considering bumping him up to two. We play three Lugia, which is a Ho-Oh's partner here. Lugia compounds with Ho-Oh on the different energy types, making it powerful. Elemental Blast, Elemental Blast does a 90 damage base on a basic. Uh, discard all your energy that you have, fire, water, grass to do so. Weakness is Psychic, which is pretty bad. Resistance to fighting, which is cool. Retreat cost is the same as Ho-Oh. And the fact that it does 90 damage for three energy is really crazy. So Lugia is a very powerful attacker. Now, obviously, you can't do 90 continuously because you have to discard his energies. But he's like a finisher, right? Ho-Oh is kind of the slow burn, increasing kind of guy. He'll set up KOs, and if you just need one to finish off quickly, Lugia is your option, so that's really good. Lugia is a pretty good partner, and it just uses the, the, ener the different energies we're forced to play with Ho-Oh to great benefit. Our partner here with our main attacker is going to be Porygon and Porygon 2. So why is this card here? So Porygon 2 is a stage 1 70 HP, weakness to fighting, which kind of sucks, but it's colorless, so it's understandable. Resistance to, to, to a psychic is really cool, though, because there's a lot of psychic Pokemon in the meta. However, Energy Converter is the main reason. Energy Converter basically says that you can um, pick one energy attached to one of your Pokemon, and you can treat it as another energy type. So you can naturally see why this works well with Ho-Oh. In case we're forced to attach, like a, let's say, two or three water onto Ho-Oh, Energy Converter will change that water into whatever type that we need. So Energy Converter is a way to ensure that damage output remains consistent. You can even attach like two lightning and one water onto a Lugia, and then you can use Energy Converter to turn one of the lightnings to fire, and then you have your Elemental Blast. So it's a pretty good option to have. Um, it keeps your attacks consistent. It, it makes sure that uh, you can attach in any energy once per turn, and after three turns, you can attack with Lugia, and after four, you can attack with Ho. It just guarantees that for you. So that's why it's a partner here. It's, it's, it's not too essential because we do run a wide variety of energies. So it's really there just for that pinch situation, you know, where you're forced to attach weird energies. But uh, in general, it's not all that necessary. That's why we normally only even get one in play, just to have as a backup, uh, just, to, just to guarantee things if for insurance. 
Uh, you want to fill the bench with other things in the meantime. And it's only a 2-2 count, so it doesn't take up too much space in the deck either. But it does give us a lot of benefit, though. So that's the attackers and Pokemon. Let's move on to the energy counts. So we have 4 fire, 4 lightning, and 4 water. This this 4 for 4 count is to optimize Lugia. And uh, Ho-Oh, though, we have... One Fighting, One Grass, One Psychic, and Two Metal. So these are all of the basic, um, um, these are all of the basic energy types. And we have the Two Metal Energy simply because Metal Energy is a way of keeping your Pokemon in play for a lot longer than what they would otherwise do. Ho-Oh already can do a high damage output. Lugia has 90 damage output. So if you, if you for whatever reason don't need 90 damage to KO something, you know, depending on their type of deck, Energy, this metal energy helps you out. You know, metal energy will keep your your Pokemon powerful, even though you end up reducing your damage output by 10. So metal energy is really cool. Um, in in a lot of matches, though, it can be very useful. That's why it's a two count. And those are the energy types. So we have one of the types that we will not use for Lugia, but we have four of the types that we will. The, this works well, like I said, because Porygon 2 allows us to, to, to pick and choose which energy we want. So it doesn't really matter um, what energy you put onto the Pokemon. Porygon is always there to give you the extra boost that you need. Moving on to the trainers. So we have uh, two good manners. Good manners is a, is a way of getting basics in play. Just having a two count to get a Porygon in play when you really need it, to get a Lugia or Ho or even Cleffa. Good manners is a really good option to get set up. It just increases consistency for the deck. Four Double Gust is going to be a pretty good card for us. Now Ho has two retreat and Lugia has two retreat and Porygon ha two has one retreat. So we do have retreat costs that we have to consider. But Double Gust is just too good to play. You know, um, the whole point of uh, having one attacker that's very hard to get into play is that you need him to be important when it's an important turn. And so Double Gust ensures that we can attack their attackers when the time comes. We'll figure out the retreat situation somehow. You, you just got to play it right. You know, that's the only way to really get around it. So four Double Gusto is very essential and very useful. Three Moo, Moo Milk and uh, four Gold Berry is going to be a primary way of healing. So that's another way that we can keep our Pokemon in play for longer. We just heal them off of damage. Not many things can one-shot a hoe at 90 HP. So you can, you can use tons of Gold Berry. Uh, if you don't know what Goldberry does, it heals 40 damage if you already have 40 damage on a Pokemon. So it's a tool that you attach until the opponent takes 40 damage, and then it activates and discards itself and heals you, heals you up. So Goldberry is really good. Moomoo Milk, though, is a pa you know, you don't have to attach it to anything. You just flip two coins. If one of them is heads, you, you heal 20. If two is heads, you heal 40. So Moomoo Milk is a good kind of, uh, you know, there's other more consistent options like Potion, which guarantees 20 every turn, but Moomoo Milk potentially getting giving you 40 is just really good. So we play three Moomoo Milk for that reason. Focus Band is a two count in the deck, so Focus Band is just useful in case you just need to keep an attacker in play. It's just a good card to have in general. Because this deck is going to take some time to set up, you normally want to... Normally what I'm going to do is attach a Focus Band onto a Cleffa, put him in the active. So the opponent has to deal with a Focus Banded Baby. Um, gives, it gives me time to power up Ho-Oh and Lugia, so it's a, good, it's a good card to have in the deck. Two Bills Teleporter is our way of uh, extra draw. So Bill's Teleporters is flip a coin if heads draw four. We're just going all in. We're not really going to de deal with consistency. You can pick Bill, which is a more consistent thing. Draw two cards. So it's it's way better if you just want a consistent option. But Bill's Teleporter can potentially give you four cards, which is just really good. So I have a two count of that in here. Four Professor Elm is your supporter of choice. You just flip uh, your, you just shuffle your hand, draw seven. You can't play any more trainers this turn. Uh, it's really good just to play late game to keep your um, decks to keep your hand refreshed, you know, get more energy drops, etc., etc. Use Cleffa's early game to set up. Use Elm's late game to get to draw what you need. We have two energy arc. Um, this is a way of finding energy. Um, in most decks, we don't usually play energy search cards, but in this deck, we always want to find the specific energy we need. And so energy arc lets you do that. You flip two coins for each heads. You search your deck for a basic. And you can find any basic, you know. So you can find these one of uh, energies, these fighting, these grass, these psychic. You can find them with this card. Potentially you can even find two. So it's a cool card to have. Energy Stadium is also a uh, is going to be our stadium of choice. So when we end up getting KO'd, 
we're going to have a bunch of energy in a discard because there, these Pokemon have high energy attacks and, Ho and Lugia even discards the energy he uses. So there's going to be a ton of energy in the discard and Energy Stadium is our way of getting some back. So you flip a coin every turn and if it's heads you can, you can recover one energy from the discard and put it in your hand. So it's a good way of getting energy back after a KO. It's a good way of keeping energy in play. Uh, it's a good stadium to have, especially in this deck. We play a single copy of Imposture Oaks Revenge. This is more of like a placeholder card. I just wanted, I just, I just needed, like, based on the focus of the deck, I mean, you could have added another Moon Milk or whatever, but this was just, just, we can turn this into any card we need. It's, I'm not too uh, married to it, you know? So Imposture Oaks Revenge is just nice also. Disrupts the opponent, brings them down to four. Te technically, our deck sets up slow. So Imposter Oak slows the opponent down. That is kind of the reason why I picked it. So it's a single count, though, just to have. Two Nightly Garbage Run is going to be our way of recovering Pokemon and energy, keeping our deck size high. You choose three of energy. You, you choose any three of uh, energy or Pokemon, and you just shuffle them into your deck. So it's Super Rod, basically, the first print of Super Rod. And um, it's a two count, but I'm considering bringing it up to three count, especially in those long matches. But then again, to be realistically fair, you're never going to really set up too many hoes and then have them get KO'd. If you, if you lose two hoes in a match, I mean, likely you're probably not going to win it, or it's probably going to be the end of the match at that point. So far, I haven't found too much problems with having just two Naughty Garbage Run. The extra energy stadium helps a lot to get energy back anyway, so... Um, potentially though, we can increase this to three just in case we need it, in case we end up having to lose our energy too often or whatever. But that's the deck. Uh, it's just fun, you know, it does high damage output if you can get Ho set up. Ho and Lugia are legendaries, they're one of, they're two of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 2. So this is a cool deck. And this, this deck is a colorless deck, obviously. Ho is colorless, Lugia is colorless. So like I said, this rounds out every single energy type in Gen 2. We've made videos on every one of them. Uh, obviously we're gonna we're gonna diversify in the future but um, it's cool that it just kind of turned I wasn't planning on doing it this way I wasn't planning on having a single uh, video for every energy type but it just turned out that way so I went I just went with it you know and yeah so let's get into the matches all right we got a match against wizards of Corsica we start with the Ella kid and all three of our lightning energies so this is basically useless to us Luckily, we have an Elm, and we're playing a Zapdos, so Rocket Zapdos. Um, we can definitely just uh, attach a Fire and Retreat. And then we're going to eat, because we don't have any basics. Um, still kind of, kind of crappy here. He actually hit us. He did. So we'll do this. And I kind of just want Energy. So I could play the... the I'm going to play it since I'm I'm already so slow in the beginning of this match. I'll play the Imposter, and I can get rid of, uh, let's just say a Water. And we can flip. Still no basics. We have a good manners, but we can't use it right now. Uh, in the meantime, I think I might as well not waste the energy drop for the turn and attach, and then I'll eek again. So now we got a hoe finally, but then we also have no energy, so we can play the energy stadium. He actually kills the Cleffa, which sucks. Uh, we can bench the hoe. -Oh. We'll play the energy stadium. We'll bench the uh, Porygon and energy stadium. Get tails. So we're gonna not, we're gonna miss the energy drop for the turn, which really sucks. But we'll just you know, it is what it is. We get a Lugia now and another good manners, which is cool. We can play the teleporter. He actually top stack an Elm to get rid of his dead hand, which which sucks even more. But we can start powering up Ho. -Oh, hopefully, Electro Burn won't take a one shot on us, which is good. And he misses it right there. So now we'll bench the Lugia. We'll, we'll focus our efforts on the Ho-Oh. Play the Energy Stadium. We'll get back a Fire. And we'll play Good Manners again. We'll play Good Manners for another um, Porygon. Looks like the other one's Prize. No, it's not Prize right here. Okay, cool.
Bench that. I might, I might even play the Bills Teleporter. Yeah, I might as well, right? And we actually get one of these guys, so that's cool. Evolve that. And we're actually just going to Playful Punch, I think. I think I'm actually going to retreat and do Playful Punch. Because um, this hand looks good, and I have a Clef in hand too. So we're just going to Playful Punch and take him for 20. Now he has to deal with Elekid. He still hasn't even set up his board. He, play, he plays a Balloon Berry so he can start Clefaing, which is fine. Now he has to actually hit through at the a baby rule to be able to even get the flip, so that's really good. He bumps our stadium, which pretty much sucks, but that's fine. We're going to, um, see, he didn't even get a new hand, so we'll build Teleporter again, and we actually get more stuff, which is awesome. All right, so we're going to attach the grass. We're going to attach all of our one-ofs to Ho-Oh, and, and yeah, I mean, we can just play full punch now. Missed on that, but that's fine. He plays a Metal Energy onto the Zapdos, which means that I'm going to need to do more than just, you know... He gets another Tails, which is cool. Now we can do Lightning on Ho-Oh. And uh, Playful Punch. Do 20, which is nice. He still doesn't have a good hand, so that's cool. I'm going to need at least 5 Energy on Ho-Oh. Gets another Tails. That's really bad for him. Attach this to Ho-Oh, and uh, Playful Punch, miss that. He still hasn't got a new hand, so but he's got a Zapdos fully powered up now. And we set ourselves up for a Double Gust target, unfortunately. But we do have um, two Gold Berries in hand to be able to heal off stuff. And we only need one more energy to... He trades a flat... He, so this is an Ampharos build with the Z Rocket Zapdos, okay. I might have actually played this before, I don't know. Um, let's see, water is the last thing that we need on the Ho-Oh, so Ho-Oh is fully powered up now, and, uh, we have a double gust, but he would obviously gust out of Lugia, which means that for now, I'm just gonna keep him at, at five, because that's all I need to take out the Zapdos, I think that's all I need, right? So, 50, that's 80, minus 10 is 70, yeah, I one-shot him. Is it so shakes? <laughs> Yeah, he's he's gotten some terrible luck, man. You got some Yeah, I mean what 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 can you really do there, right? Alright, so uh, he's powered up, which means that I can power up or oh, yeah, okay, I'm forgetting where I am in the turn, but I think I can just playful punch him and actually KO him, so that really sucks, dude. He he like he got tails the entire time, didn't even get a new hand. Wow. I mean <laughs> Sometimes the luck is super against you, sometimes it's super with you, and this match can go in, in any one of what different ways, so it's not like it's even, you know, it's one of those things that it's, ne it's nowhere near over. I mean, we're only at five prizes each, so this is the con so things can still happen. But anyway, back to the match. We're in such a great position. Elekid's still doing some cool stuff. All right, so he finally takes a hit, which is fine. I can just bring him up. Um, that opens up a spot, but I don't think I need to fill that spot just yet. I have actually all, all the energy I needed for Lugia. So we'll attach all this stuff to Lugia. There's a good manners. There's nothing else to really bench right now. Um, I could potentially bench a new Cleffa, but I don't need to right now. So I'm just going to rainbow burn him because I'm pretty sure I KO him even with, yeah, so that, that's like, yeah, I mean, I think we might actually have just one because he's just been dead drawing for too long. He gets another Mareep, so at least he's, he stays alive. Setting up the other guy. Um, I can power up the Lugia. Now I'm about to have a 90 potential here, so Rainbow Burn again. Take another prize. He really needs to top deck out of something here, or otherwise this is match. GG, man. So... That was the match, bad example, but uh, at least you kind of saw how powerful it can be, you know. And we all, we got a Porygon set up even though we needed, we didn't really need it because our energies worked out really well. But yeah, uh, let's go on to the next one. All right, we're going to match her against Wizards of Corsica again. This time we're forced to start with a Ho-Oh, which pretty much sucks. Um, that exposes them to damage and attacks. We'll take the extra card though, there's a Cleffa. We'll, we'll bench the Cleffa. We'll actually play both good manners, that's for sure. Play good manners for at least a uh, 
Uh, Porygon, where is it at? Where is it at? Please tell me I didn't just see what I thought I saw. Hold on one second. I gotta. Okay, there's one. Okay. These things are like hiding on me, man. All right, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna bench also a. Uh, all right, bench this first, and then we'll do this. We're gonna bench a uh, Elokid too, so we can attack him as well. Because I might want to just give up this ho-ho, -oh, to be honest. Bench that. We'll play the Teleporter. We don't actually get anything. That kind of sucks. Um, then we're going to play Energy Arc just to thin our deck out. Uh, Tails and Heads. So what do I have? I have Psychic Water. I'll take a Fire. And we'll start actually powering him up, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Playful Punch. Do 20. Nice. He's playing the same deck I am? What? Instead, he's got multiple Elo Kids, though. Okay. Um, I got Double Gust now, though. He'll And yeah, that's perfect for me. I can Double Gust the Lugia up. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Alright, we'll send up the Lugia, and I can just retreat into the Cleffa and set him up for an Eek. Nice. That's that pretty much saved us, to be honest. Which is sweet. The focus span is not going to protect us from Elokid, so we're just going to need more Pokemon, basically. He's powering up Lugia. He actually now has no double gust target on the bench, which sets us up for a really bad double gust. Uh, that means I might want to focus ban the Ho Oh. And that's probably my only option, actually. So, yeah, that's such a huge threat against me that I definitely will need to do this. And then I can just uh, eek. There's a couple of metals. That could actually be in my favor. I might attach that. Because then that, that guarantees the, the KO doesn't happen. So I'm going to attach a metal. And I'm going to actually hold off on eeking and playful punch instead. We'll play the tele... No, we're not going to play that just yet. We'll do 20. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Because I have energy now. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that was happening. All right, we're going to set him up. That's fine. We can actually double gust back, you know? So that works out. And we'll do the other one. Did he get a water? He did. So I still survive, which is the important thing. I have two Moo Moo Milks, which is what the situation was meant for, to heal him off. He, he can only do 80. Nice. All right, so I'm going to double gust, right? Because there's all these guys are free retreaters. Yeah, double gust time. I'll bring up the other guy. And I can retreat into the Cleffa. I can Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk. And Goldberry. Oh no! Come on! Come on! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's just... Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Does he... Actually, you know what? I couldn't have done it anyway. Because I had the focus ban on. So, it's fine. I... I'm just dumb. So, don't... Just don't worry about me. You know? Alright, that's fine. That's all good. We'll eek, get a new hand. We get a Lugia down now, too, so that's cool. Take him some time to power up. There's another Cleffa. I will bench a Lugia, and I'm just going to keep attaching energy onto Ho-Oh. I actually wish I didn't bench this now, because now my double gusts don't work. But, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm doing 60 damage. Um, it's fine. I'm just going to eek. Does Lucky Stadium help me at all? Not yet. And eek again. So in hindsight, um, because I ended up drawing into the metals, being, uh, having the, uh, focus Ben on really hurt us. And now Porygon's basically got a Goldberry that his, his HP is 40. I mean, I guess eventually we'll evolve him, but it's whatever. So I might just want to start attacking or attaching with Lugia. I have the Focus Band on, so I might want to start setting it up. So let's do that then. We'll 
We'll attach this to the Lugia. Because Lugia will one-shot him, right? Do I just retreat? He's actually one more energy away from, from attacking. What, what do I think? What do I think? So... He's going to do 80, which... So the metal saved us, but then kind of hurt us, too. 70... Yeah, actually, I do this, because then I set him up for a, a playful punch KO. So I rainbow burn for 60. Wait, right, right. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> All right, that my misplay is throwing me off badly here because the metal reduces it by ten, which sucks. And if I had one more turn, I might have uh, been able to have a backup Lugia. He ends up playing Sabrina's Gaze. I get the Imposter Oakville, which is going to be really sweet. If he KOs the Ho, -Oh, I can always play Energy. He actually he plays Energy Stadium too, so that's fine. He plays Scoop Up. Oh my God. All that damage, gone. Does he KO me through the band? That's 50-50 shot. Let's see. If I survive, I have a gold berry, which is going to be sweet. Yes. Oh, man. You got to love it, dude. Got to love it. There's a gold berry. We're going to imposter his hand. And we're going to discard the Energy Stadium because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to uh, teleport. We're going to evolve first. Teleporter. And uh, start setting up this Lugia contain again. And we'd Rainbow Burn for a 60. He's gonna. He. It seems like every three turns he will get an attack off, which is fine. Eventually we'll get. Uh, so I kind of want to sixty. I kind of want to keep him at seventy damage output. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this first, and then we're going to Elm. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging for a berry, basically. Do I have any energy in the discard? No. So we're going to rainbow burn. Wait, I don't have... I, I, I attach the energy for, to the active, right? So we'll rainbow burn. Take a KO. There's a garbage run. We're, we've taken the first prize of the game. Here, in, in this case, I feel like I want to double gust. And he'll probably bring up the Lugia. But I can bring up his other Lugia. But then he has the scoop ups. So maybe double Gus is not going to help me as much this match as what I would have hoped. He does hurt me again, which is like, again, this is why I really need a uh, fire, water. I'm going to double Gus. I need him out of the active. And I don't want to lose the energy to do it. He's, I know, like, he'll probably bring up Lugia. Yeah, he does. So I'll bring up his spare Lugia. And then I'm going to Elm. Because I really need those berries. Don't have a berry just yet, which sucks. But okay, so I right, Playful Punch instead. Get him for 40. Why does Elkid have a lightning on him? Did I screw up somewhere? <sighs> wow. That sucks. All that energy gone. This guy plays Tickling Machine too, man. Unbelievable. Alright, well, that's fine in a way. Because now I can kill him with my Lugia. We'll bench the Ho-Oh. We can attach the lightning on the active. And we're just going to do the same thing. We'll garbage run, I think, because there's too many energy. Actually, yeah, there's too many energy. Well, let's, let's do the stadium first. Energy stadium is heads. We'll bring up one of our unique ones. And we're just going to elemental blast. We need to discard a fire. It's all three. Gets gone. All right. 
Now the question is, do I set up a ho-ho or not? If he tries to eek here, um, I can focus ban the Lugia, though. That's really good. Because he'll be one-shotting me anyway. There's a Cluffa. There's a... All right, I have a double gust, so will probably bring up the Ho-Oh, so it's not worth playing right now. So we're just going to do this. We're going to attach fire here, and then we're going to playful punch. We miss it. That's fine. Oh, I forgot to play Energy Stadium. I should have been doing that. So a couple of misplays. Um... I have a focus span on, so I'm really just depending on that. He played computer error. My deck is 13 to his 20, so I'll just draw two. It's my turn. Do I do it? This is a 50 50 shot, though, is the thing. Am I going to waste more energy on Lugia, is the question? Let's play the Energy Stadium first. Gets tails on that. What do I do here? So if I double Gus, he brings up the Ho or the Porygon. Either way, I think this. If I want to, if I want to use Lugia, this is the only out. Ho is useless to me. Lugia is worth more, so I double Gust. May and then I can even playful punch him. I don't know why there's electric on a on a Elicate. I must have just misplayed earlier or something. Bring up the Lugia. That's fine. Ho oh can go. It's okay. I'm up one prize anyway. Um, now I attach a water to Lugia. Now he has to double gust me. He's already played a couple, right? He's played two. So it's fine. All right. So. Yeah, I think I playful punch then. I just playful punch. Did I do the energy stadium? Already used. Playful punch. Alright, we didn't get that one, but that's fine. He gets a heads on his stadium, which means he can he has an attack. He can take out the hoe to even prizes, but then I KO him next turn. He really wants to. He, he plays a double gust. Alright, 50-50 shot here. I got my band on, so... See how it goes. If he KOs me, um, it's going to be bad, man. Come on, band. Do your job. Coin flip. Here we go. Come on. Ugh. Unbelievable. All right. Uh, I think we garbage right now because we have lost two Lugias, I believe. No, just one. And we have lost a ton of energy. So we definitely garbage run just the energy back. I'm going to bring up back these fire, waters, and grasses. Okay. I'm probably going to deck out before I do anything is the thing. So we'll do energy stadium as well. Now my question though is, I mean, do, I guess I'm forced to attach to the ho, -Oh, right? So we'll attach to the ho. -Oh. And I'll bench another Cluffa because this thing can get KO'd. And we're just going to eek. There's a Lugia. We have another garbage run. Even with both our garbage runs, I'm pretty sure we deck out. So this match is just going pretty slow, basically. This time I'm going to... Uh, he actually just KOs it. Figures. I can't spare... Oh, he actually missed the energy drop for the turn. What happened there? Um, I don't know what happened there, but I'm just going to keep going with Ho-Oh. I don't know. And Playful Punch him to death. 60. The question now is, do I attach the metal? 
Because then he'll never get a one shot, and I should have a couple of berries left. Let's see how many berries I've. I'm gonna draw zero. I'm gonna draw one. Let's see. Yeah, I have like three berries left, so I'm pretty sure I attach this. So I'll attach this there. And uh, playful punch. Energy Stadium first. Playful punch. 80. And one more playful punch and he gets KO'd, which is sweet. I think he should only have one more double gust left. So. One, two, three. Yeah, he should only have one more double gust left. He plays Sabrina's Gaze. The metal makes sure that I don't die from Lugia. And eventually I can two-shot his Lugia. He's already got so much damage on, though. He actually has Goldberry. Okay, that's fine. Has he played... How many Goldberries has he played overall? Just one. Plays Garbage Run for two Lugias. Okay. He's, he's starting to accelerate into the prizes, though, is the real scary part. But he only has one more double gust, so he, now he's going to be forced to go through babies. That's the thing. I can actually KO him next turn. He um, playful punches me. So I can actually KO him now. Yeah, let's do that, right? Because I just do this to this. So that, okay, so let's just think about this. So this is uh, 3 unique energy, plus 30 is 60, minus 10 is 50, plus 40 is 90. So that's just enough. So I retreat into the ho -Oh. I play Energy Stadium, get back a unique one, and then I also Nightly Garbage Run. Some basic ones uh, do that. So that brings me back up to 10. And then I have Rainbow Burn. Take a KO. He didn't even get a use an attack. Nice. Now, now it's like, now I'm just attaching energy, you know. Everything's going crazy now. I'm pretty sure I have a double gust left too. So let's see. One, two, three, four. No, they're all gone. Oh, wow. Okay. He plays Thought Wave Machine. What in the world is he playing? Let me see what this does. What does Thought Wave Machine do? What the heck? Let me... Flip a coin until you get tails for each has return energy card stats your opponent's active to your opponent's hand. He actually got a heads and tails, so it's fine. I'm just going to keep doing this then. Because I still rainbow burn him. I energy stadium too, just in case I got a Cleffa. So I rainbow burn. I miss on that. That's fine. Eventually what will happen is I can retreat into the Cleffa and Eek to get my deck back up high. He's going to continuously do Elo Kid stuff, but I got um, Moo Moo Milk and Goldberry... I mean, I won't be able to obviously, uh, you know, so let's just stack on everything with this guy. Energy Stadium, get this back, and then Rainbow Burn for a KO, which is cool. So this, this slow-burning match ends up, I think, just barely working out. He might have one more double gust left, right? Unless he plays threes, because he's got so many other cards. I think he only plays three. He's got so many other cards. I don't know where he found space unless he... Unless he um, you know, did this, this stuff like this. Is he going to draw two cards? Okay. Energy Stadium. That's fine. Uh, water is not attached just yet, so I'll keep doing that. Rainbow Burn for the water. No. He's fully powered up. Um, I think I don't want to, I don't want to continuously attach energy from hand now. No matter what, though, he doesn't kill me, right? Unless he has a L kid damage on. I only have two prizes, so I feel like I want to set up a Lugia, to be honest. Lugia would be sweet. Very sweet. So I'll do that. Thought Wave Machine again. Okay, uh, I'm just going to set up the Lugia. That's fine. Actually, that water helped me out, so I'm just going to do this on the Lugia. Energy Stadium for fire. 
And then Rainbow Burn, missed that again. This ridiculous Thought Wave machine is dumb. I don't know what his build is, man. It, it's just whatever, whatever. Anyway. All right, he does 20. I do Moo Moo Milk now because I know I die if I don't. So Moo Moo Milk, the active. No! Oh, come on, man. Okay, wait, wait. Do I retreat? Of all the times to get Tails Tails, man. He's about to hit me. Do I retreat? What happens if I retreat? I, I'm just going to attack. He kills me, I kill his Lugia, but then we're both set up for a deck out. I have to eek eventually. Maybe I retreat and eek now. Maybe that's the play. No, I need to bait him into the active. I gotta kill him. So we're gonna do this. Still tails, come on. If I had gotten that KO, we would have won the game. just ridiculous two really bad luck opportunities right there man like if i could have gotten heads i could have won the game if i would have gotten a single heads on the other car the moon milk i would have i he couldn't have attacked me i could have won the game there too it's just ridiculous another ho, -ho goes down and i have down my deck is down to five So I'm going to have to for sure do this. So Lightning, take a KO, Energy Stadium, bring back a unique one, and an Elemental Blast. There's an Elm. Okay, so Elm saves it. So my deck situation is not bad anymore. Now I can just continuously attack with Elemental Blast, which is my only out. Maybe Delta Beam is worth it. Let's take a look. Flip a coin if has choose whether front class with sleep, confused, or paralyzed. So it's 20, and then, eh, not really. So I just playful punch him. So I, I set up another Lugia. I energy stadium. Get back one of these. Well, if I'm not going to do it, I'm going to do this. So we're going to do this. Attach the water. I already played energy this turn. Um, playful punch. 20s finally. Finally, I hit something. So now he has to retreat, otherwise he loses. I have an Elm, so I'm not too, you know, that part's not going to be re all that relevant. So we'll do this. Now I can retreat if I need to, and I Playful Punch. Still Tails. So he's just going to, I think he's going to give up the game because, I mean, what else? There's another Lugia. Does he retreat into it? Water Energy Lugia. Do I need another attacker? I think I do. I think I bench another Lugia. Because I have two prizes to his... He has to take two prizes. I have to take one, basically. So I bench a Lugia. I uh, start setting him up. Energy Stadium. We get a, a fire back. I should have gotten an electric back. Um, we'll attach this water to the Lugia, and then Playful Punch. Got him. All right, that's game. Oh, man. Okay, so the mirror match, he relied heavily on Lugias. We got a couple of hoes in play. The metal energy made a big difference. Um, the metal energy made a big difference, and, um, you know, because he, he prevented us from KOing. Now, we must played a couple times, he ended up going down a really weird build. Like he has all he has like triple Elekid and he's got Thought Wave Machine and he's got Tickling Machine. So I think his build was designed to basically do passive damage with Elekid and in the meantime uh do some like weird shenanigans with these trainers, you know? While he's setting up Lugia Ho. -Oh. Our build was more so just getting our energies consistent with Porygon 2. We never actually ended up using Porygon 2 in, in any of the matches. 
you know, but uh, the concept is still there. And in, you know, assuming our energy problems are not there, like if, if we are forced to attach weird energies, at least he has the option to do that. But uh, yeah, um, unfortunately, these matches don't really showcase the full scope of the deck because we didn't get to see Porygon 2. But finding matches is pretty difficult, so it's fine. This is a good match, though. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm not sure what we'll do next time, but like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you want, what you want to see. And we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.